walkthrough video of 4924 Hidden Oaks Trail. We're located in Hidden Oaks. Um, that's Bahia Vista over in the distance there. Hidden Oaks has large parcels um, and big homes. It's a really nice neighborhood. This is a bank owned property and it has uh, more than two acres of land with it. And I think there's even some horse paddocks. Um, so it is bank owned. I can see that the roof is tarped, and um, that usually means you need a new roof. Uh, the home needs a lot of work. This is definitely in the fixer upper category. Looks like that garage door was like homemade. I want to, I want to say that's a homemade garage. Um, okay, so this is an interesting wall that I walk right into with something like scribbled on there. What the heck is that? It's really weird. I've never seen anything like that. Huh. Okay. This is a giant fireplace like in the middle of the room. Um, okay. I'm with it so far. Laminate flooring. Interesting bookshelves built in. Roof problems and popcorn. Floor feels like it slopes down a little bit here. But that is quite a lot out there. That's a lot of a lot. And that would be um, on array over there. I don't hear it. where the sound system goes. Uh, dining room has tile here, back of the fireplace. I'm not gonna say that that's the most attractive stone I've ever seen in my life. Um, so I'm just not gonna say it. Nor would I say this is the most attractive kitchen I've ever seen in my life. You know how I like yellowing plastic stuff on the ceiling. Yeah, this is pretty vintage. I bet you this is a really nice house um, when it was built. Look at that wallpaper. Holy cow. Oh, look, it's got lights. Wow. That is the most garish wallpaper I've ever seen. Yuck. Who does that? Yeah, where does this go? Getting a little creeped out in here. Laundry room. Water heater. This goes out to the garage. If I could get it unlocked, but I can't. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Big garage. Some issues. Garage door. Maybe handmade. Grimy garage. Step down, step down. There's a little workshop over here. Um. Okay, it's a garage. Find it, I'm finding difficult, I'm finding it difficult to say nice things about this house. Um, yeah, I'm, I haven't really seen anything I like so far. So, uh, it's just weird layout. So I walk in, there's just like closets everywhere. Carpeting in this bathroom. Carpeting around the toilet. Bad idea. Carpeting around the tub. Shower. More of this horrible wallpaper. More horrible wallpaper. Another toilet. Boy, that's a lot of toilets. Let's see. So it's like a Jack and Jill... Huh. Toilet. Lots of built-in stuff. Okay, I guess that would make this the master bedroom. Huh. Wonder what happened there. But it is a nice piece of land. So I, I'm going to keep coming back to that. Lots of closets. Lots of places to keep your stuff. Um, okay. I guess that's the master suite. This is a, a den with built-in bookcases 
And then over here, this is a good size bedroom. This is a bathroom. Yeah, I really, I really don't necessarily really like this house very much. Um, but it's big. But look at that lot. Those beautiful trees. I'm gonna go check out the deck. Maybe I'll like the deck. Because um, otherwise we got basically two bedrooms and a bath over here. We have giant living room, master suite over there, kitchen parked over in the corner. And now we're gonna check out what might be okay. The lot. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, this deck isn't, I mean, if it were power wash, cause this is that Trek stuff, it's actually a pretty nice deck. So there's something I like. Little gazebo's kinda cute. That's on array over there. Those are two horse stables. You wanna have a horse? There you go. Pretty cool. Very scenic out here. This part's okay. The uh, this awning has um, exceeded this, its uh, life. So, I don't know. I mean, unless this house is like free, I don't know. I do like the neighborhood. Um, that's it. This is like kind of a depressing video. I, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't particularly care for this house at all. I like side entry garage, but this stone is just, bleh, you know, it's just got so much work. Ugh. So anyway, I'm Jules Roman, Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. And as always, thanks for watching.